Hello everyone. So, been a little while since I've done any videos. Been quite busy recently for various reasons and finally got a day off where I'm not busy. I'm running around, so awesome sauce. Uh, it's, I'm going to try and make this a quiet one, a quick one. Quiet one? Not a quiet one. Quiet one, bad. Vlog, speak. Now, one major event I've had recently is my glasses broke which is super awesome for someone who is basically a minus three prescription. For those who don't know what that is, it's not the strongest of prescriptions, but it's enough so that I can't really go around without glasses or contact lenses, and my contact lenses were already overworn. That was fun. Went in to get them adjusted. Had a feeling they would break, to be honest. And working seven years in the optical trade myself, kind of had a feeling they might actually snap. But, you know, I go in there, under warranty and all that, and it snapped. What are you going to do? Apparently, not be able to order the frames because they don't stop them anymore. So I had to wait a week for them to redo lenses and frames, which is kind of cool because I got I got to choose a new new frame, new Ray Bans. Uh, they got updated lenses, new prescription, everything. So it kind of, in a way, was a good thing. But there was hell on my eyes. I was absolutely exhausted. And that's another reason why I didn't do any videos for a little while. Because uh, yeah, I was just dead on my feet and my eyes were like, no, exactly that. Mmm. So yeah, that was the thing, but I've got the glasses now, obviously not on, back to wearing my contact lenses, but yeah. Something else I've been trying to sort out recently is my life, no, not my life, well, my life a little bit. I've got various things left over, let's say, such as trying to get my shower sorted, which I kind of left, I never really used the shower, uh, yeah, but I'm like, well, it needs to get sorted. Getting my flat letter on the front door because next door's flat's on the front door but not mine so it confused the hell out of any deliveries that turn up because they think it's just them that live at this this address yeah, it's a right pain in the harris that also i keep meaning to get club cards and loyalty cards and that for those who aren't in the uk or whatever uh yeah loyalty cards because i do my shopping every day and I buy my lunch every day as well which is another thing I'm working on I need to sort that out to make it cheaper save a bit of money finally got off my ass and basically ran around today got my loyalty cards for both places that I shop at uh, got my cinema tickets which I've been basically I won some cinema tickets from Nokia kind of a work training thing and they sent me through this pack to claim them which is a little bit irritating but you know gift horses and all that I never got around to sending it off and claiming them Finally sent off the claim, did my points cards today, and anything else I did today? Pretty sure I did something else, but screw it. Whatever. Went to the gym. Gym again. Well, again. Not really gone to the gym recently, for various reasons. Won't go into them. Plus I've knackered my back as well, from overdoing the weights, so that was one reason I didn't go. On the loyalty cards thing as well, I kind of, maybe kind of, got a new credit card being sent through from... Nectar? Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's I guess. Because I already use the credit card as part of my expenses thing, which is working fairly well actually. I'm pointing out where I'm spending money a lot easier now. And not really getting any more out of that card. And I figured why don't I get a Sainsbury's card, get the Nectar points, which is like the loyalty points, for the same thing. And I think it's a better rate slightly as well, so makes sense. Get that, get rid of the other card, easy enough. Got enough self-control so that I don't end up with two credit cards. Even though this one has apparently £4,400 limit. No. Uh, that pretty much covers most things recently, I think. And, oh, one thing as well. For those of you who might be that way inclined or connected or whatever, uh, Geek in Sundry is a YouTube channel, essentially. More meta than that, I guess, but mainly a YouTube channel. And they have this show called Tabletop for board games, which is absolutely cool for some people. It's fun, it's fun. Don't judge. And they have an international tabletop day where they're encouraging various places to have a, a day of just games and go to places. So I'm going to see if I can check out a place around here for that. It is the 5th of April. It's an international thing, of course. So check it out. Uh, don't know what the website is. I wonder if I've got it here. Don't know. But if you search for international tabletop game in my uh, tabletop day, I'm sure it will just come up straight away. I know there is a place in a nearby town actually that does do tabletop game nights, like twice a week anyway, so I might, might check with them, I'm sure they're doing something. So that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, but I get better leave it at that, I'm rambling a little bit too. So,
Ta-ta.